Yesterday, I tried to download uh, the Revit templates and families into, or excuse me, the library elements and the template families into my version of 2021 Revit that I have on my laptop. And I had a whole host of problems also, and I was never completely successful at it, um, getting them to download properly. Uh, but I do have the, these um, these uh, templates and, and library elements on my computer, so I decided that I would make them available to you uh, by putting them on Blackboard. Uh, so I'm recording this video to help kind of describe what's going on there. Um, and if you go to what will be listed is the Revit 2021 library and template families in the um, left-hand uh, sidebar, you'll find that I have the Revit 2021 English Imperial Library and the family templates. Family templates are generic things that you would make your own custom library element, like a special door or something. Uh, we'll deal with a couple of these later on in the semester. But uh, primarily what you want to do is grab the uh, Revit 2021 English Imperial Library. And when you click it, it will start to download that onto your computer. Um, and it'll open up and you'll download what will be a zip file. And I'm just going to cancel out of that because I've already done it repeatedly. And I'm going to show you what it would look like on your desktop. You just go to it and you would go to um, extract it. And I'm looking for where that is. Extract compressed folders. Extract all. And it'll save it then as, a, um, as an element right onto your desktop. So I'll just go ahead and do that. I've got to grab the other window from the other screen and bring it over. And I'll go extract. And it's going to take a few seconds to do this. I'll pause the uh, clip so we don't waste any extra time. Okay, with that complete, we can just go over to Revit now. And I'll go through the technique of how you would load a library element from a place it wasn't filed where Revit expects to see it. So I'm going to go to Insert. I'm going to go to Load Family. And we're going to go out to the desktop. So I'm going to go and open up this navigation. and go to the PC, go right to the desktop, and here's the English Imperial elements. I got a folder in a folder, and let's say we were gonna pick out a window. And there you have all of the, all of the methodology you need to open up and save those. Now, if you want to put it in the position where it is actually supposed to be housed, let me uh, show you where, where that would be filed. So I'm going to go back out to the, to the menu structure, and I'm going to go to this PC. Uh, most applications are stored on the C drive, so I'm going to click into the C drive. And I'm going to make sure the program data shows. If it doesn't, it could be that view has hidden items not checked. So make sure that this is checked or you won't see the program data. I'm going to click into the program data. I'm going to click into Autodesk. And you can keep watching up here at the breadcrumbing of where it's going. I'm going to go to Revit 2021. I'm going to go into Libraries. And here's where you would want to place your Revit 2021 English Imperial Library for all of your components. You can see that's where all of those elements are. That's where you want to place that. Now, if you wanted to place the templates, the family templates, you would go to Family Templates. Actually, you just put it in um, at that level. Of fam well, I'm, you might have to click in for language, yes. So um, you would have to put it in this folder just like you would the other one. And this is where things like balusters, um, generic model-based elements that we'll use later when we do the truss and, and things like that. So that's a brief overview about how to get some family elements in. I hope you'll find it useful. If you're still frustrated or having problems, uh, please don't hesitate to email me. We can get on Collaborate and try to work it out together.